An increasing body of research shows that spending time in nature enhances a person's high-level cognitive functioning, creative problem-solving, and sense of well-being. Students from the University of Utah spent a semester studying this research, and then we took a trip to Greater Canyonlands to experience firsthand how being in wild nature affects us personally. My name is Matthew Monahan. I'm a computer scientist student at the University of Utah, okay. and I'm out here with a cognitive science class studying the effects of being in nature on our cognitive state. We've talked a lot about the different aspects, including things like stress reduction, as well as um, anxiety is a really big one. We've actually empirically observed cognitive benefits for being in nature and being kind of separated from modern society and technology. You know, for me, it just makes me feel so much more in touch with myself, and I feel like I can calm down and de-stress, and you know, it's really important to me to be out here. Um, I know that for myself in particular, um, I have dealt with things like anxiety and depression in my own life, and being out in wide open spaces um, has played a big part in affecting how I can kind of live with that sort of thing. It, it really helps me to um, get back to a good place inside myself, I think. It's a great place to separate from all the distractions that the socialized world provides or presents us with and really get inside your own head. At the end of our trip, we also reflected on our hopes for the future of Greater Canyon Lands. Well, I definitely actually voted for Obama, you know, on the hope, I mean, that whole change platform and whatnot is good. I mean, I think that's good, so I'd like to see some change in how we treat this land and how we're trying to protect it from oil and natural gas, which currently we're not, from what I've seen. And it's pretty weird how just on the drive up to a state park you can see pipelines and burning natural gas and oil exploration rigs and whatnot. If Obama could actually, you know, step up and try to protect these things that are irreplaceable, that would be really valuable. I think it's really important that we protect the Utah wilderness and Obama needs to protect the Utah wilderness. President Obama, I implore you to protect the Greater Land Canyons area um, because I think it really is a unique, truly unique um, area of the United States and of the world. and. I think that it's something that needs to be passed on to future generations so that they can enjoy it in the same way that I've been able to in, um, in my youth. Protect Greater 